In every corner of coastal British Columbia, countless wild stories are unfolding. But there is so much more happening closer to home too. Life, death, and everything in between. I'm Bennett Whitnell, and this is Grant Caligari. We are videographers with the Hakai Institute. With the use of these stealth cameras, we've been able to capture subtle and intimate moments that we'd never otherwise get to see with our own eyes. And so far, nature has not disappointed. In an inconspicuous forest halfway up Vancouver Island lies Morrison Creek. We have strategically placed camera traps throughout the forest, hoping to capture some amazing wildlife behavior. Signs of spring appear at Morrison Creek with the first warm days of March. Bears are waking up from their winter slumber, and they lazily amble about, eating vegetation such as skunk cabbage and sedge. They're sniffing around, seeing who else might be up and about. Nearby, a large beaver dam allows a pine marten to cross a pond. Beavers play a role as ecosystem engineers in Morrison Creek, creating many wetland habitats like this one. Deer are up and about too, feeding in the early morning. This is a mature doe, and from the looks of her extended belly, she's likely pregnant. More than 90% of does give birth every year. A mink makes an appearance at the beaver dam. They are rarely found far from water and have webbed feet, making them excellent swimmers and divers that often hunt for underwater prey. A chorus of frogs can be heard from the pond, serenading the night and heralding the start of spring. Deer, pine marten, and mink are all active mostly at dusk and dawn. We call them crepuscular. A deer walks down the trail, carefully checking all the interesting scents left behind by other passers-by. Superior even to its hearing, the sense of smell is a deer's ultimate superpower. They have 800 times more olfactory receptors in their noses than humans, which are helpful for sensing threats and communicating with other deer. These deer still have their thick and grizzled brown-gray winter coats, which blend so well with the muted forests of winter. They will likely keep these coats for another month or two before temperatures rise and they reveal their cooler summer coats. This is possibly the same pregnant doe we captured earlier. If she is pregnant, she'll be giving birth soon. After a gestation period of six to seven months, fawns are born in late May through June.
Here we have what looks like two yearling bucks walking down the trail. These two deer look to be the same age and are possibly twins. You can tell they're bucks if you look closely at the top of their heads. You can see two little bumps which are the start of their antlers growing. The deer soon fade from view, but an hour later, a young black bear ambles down the trail, stopping to sniff and mark a tree. Capturing footage of bears scent marking trees was at the top of our wish list when we first put out the trail cameras. So we are thrilled to see we've recorded this behavior not just once, but several times. A couple days later, a huge male black bear known as a boar walks up the trail and stops to inspect the marking tree. Notice how this bear is scent marking the tree and also marking by urinating on the ground. When shown side by side, you can clearly see the size difference between these two bears. Even though it may look like these bears are scratching an itch, they are leaving their mark to communicate with other bears in the area. Bears of all ages and sexes announce their presence by leaving their scents on trees in their territories. We wanted to mount the camera down low and at animal height to get the best shooting angle possible for these tree rubs but that comes with the risk of having the animals come up and inspect the cameras. Bears are curious animals and will inevitably come and check out a camera if it's within their reach. We are lucky the cameras survived these bears and that we were able to get up close and personal to capture some amazing intimate encounters such as this. What a great shot to end the spring season. The next episode is the first day of summer and we can't wait to see what the cameras reveal.